So here's Stink Eye back from the Dude Perfect shoot with Mark Rober. We had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, this particular robot did see some damage. It got tossed around pretty good in the arena. Held together all the way to the end of what they were doing. But I have extensive damage that I can see. I haven't even taken it apart yet. So uh, right now I think we're just going to go ahead and disassemble it and see what all's here and what's worth salvaging, if any of it. So uh, let's we'll start taking it apart. So here's the back of the robot here. This is where they had all of that stuff welded up that the axe hung off of when it was in their video shoot. And all of that stuff we had to cut off to get it into the shipping crate to send it home. So I've still got all kinds of, like, basically sharp pieces of metal all over the place that I'm going to have to cut off if I'm ever going to do anything with this again. Um, looking at some of the damage moving on around, obviously we did get some dents here and there. The uh, motor mounts on both sides are kind of jacked up. This one's going to be fun to take apart. And in that particular case, that, uh, that motor is clearly shot, so that motor is dead. Moving around to the other side, you can see we've got some of the same issues as far as the mounts, because it got tossed around pretty good. But luckily, that motor still sounds pretty good, so I think that side is probably pretty good. Come up to the front, still got some of the sheetrock on the robot from getting tossed out of the arena. And inside, it seems like the weapon motor itself is still fine and free, but you can see that the mount for it has broken, which allowed the chain to come off. The whole motor's kind of twisted in there. So um, get this apart and see if I can figure out what's going on there. I might actually be able to reuse that guy, but I won't know until I get it apart so I can see. Sort of bullshit. <laughs> okay. All right, and get a much clearer picture of how much that motor has twisted mm -hmm. in there. One of the one of the fans got blasted. <laughs> that fan is supposed to. There's supposed to be one on that speed controller too. So, uh, uh, considering how hard this is getting tossed around, I am not surprised. Actually, almost all of that looks like it would still be functional. So both of these tires are pretty mangled, which means I probably won't use them again. So I'm thinking at this point in time, these guys might end up as eBay items that I sell later. So if you're interested in genuine parts from the Mark Rubber Dude Perfect BattleBots shoot, here they are.
out of this fairly unscathed. That hunk was taken out by Manta uh, in its first year at RoboGames, so no uh, no shame in losing anything off and hits from that guy. Curious. Let's find out if it still works. Down to zero. All right. Let's see what you sound like. That motor's fine. still work. Since you asked, you want to hear you, you want to hear the drive motors? I'll try to do this and not set anything on fire. So this is the good one. This is the good one. Okay. bit of current on it and we'll see how it sounds. See so the little tick tick tick? Mm -hmm. So there is something going on in there. Could be debris, could be something that broke loose inside. Obviously the motor still functions, but I'd need to disassemble this one to find out what that little that little noise is. Alright, so just out of curiosity, let's spin it the other way. Here, you can barely hear the tick going the other way. Yeah. So... If it was something on the armature sticking out, like a piece of the winding came loose or something like that, it would make the same sound in both directions. Because it's only making it in one direction that's probably somewhere in the gear set. Which probably means even though this motor works, and it certainly got through the end of the match, I probably won't use it again. It's, there's probably nothing there. I'll, I'll pull it apart and see if there's anything I can use. All right. This one, however, this one may not even turn, and if it does turn, I bet it's going to be noisy as we'll get out. We'll find out. You can hear the whole gear set making noise. It does still function. So this is why it was still driving at the end of the match. Again, probably nothing I'll ever be able to reuse, but I'm actually amazed at how 
well these things take abuse. Poor robot just does not want to die. <laughs> so, all of that damage had taken place previously is worse now. So, you can see how the whole nose is bent back on, on both sides. This side's, this side's worse. Okay, so, I mean, this was a right angle at one point in time. In fact, it's even to the point now where it's starting to, starting to crack the weld. Really, this just wasn't supported well enough. It needed like tubing across here to support these in place so they wouldn't be able to rock back. But when you build robots out of leftover junk, you get a leftover junk robot. Yeah, it's, it's curled back a little further. Not a lot further, but a little further. Blip's just a mean robot. The curls back on the, the little wedge pieces, mm -hmm. that's from just being tossed in the air and then landing on those points Is and curling funny? them back. Oh, wow. Uh, this is one of his launches right here. I actually bent that up pretty good. I think uh, I think stink eye is going to be no more, at least with this stream. It had a good life. It had a good run. It had way more of a run than I thought it ever possibly needed to. One electronics panel. Oh, so and so the the fan broke away. You can actually see that the case. The case broke. That's how those. That's how those left. Kind of a sea of wires here. But this is all pretty old school stuff. So the Vex Victors. I mean, you know, some of those are. These ones probably aren't that old. Are they HVs? But uh, well, they haven't made these in. 10 or 15 years <laughs> so they're at least they're at least that old you know and modern speed controls all have a built-in battery eliminator in them but these old ones don't so that's a that's a battery eliminator circuit right there obviously contactors have been around forever so this is all just leftover stuff in my garage so this is the Wayachi power switch that pretty much everybody uses for good reason. They work really well. But uh, you can see that this one is cracked. And I actually use, instead of just mounting bolts holding it in place, I use bolts all the way through to hold it as securely as possible. And it's still cracked. So uh, that robot was getting tossed around pretty good. The switch still works, but... Uh, with that crack in the, in the housing, I won't, I won't use it again. I'll just, you know, buy a new one. Ta-da! Okay. All that stuff they added to the back of the robot makes it hard to do this. Come on. Okay. This has seen a very hard life. This was the frame that was destroyed by Hypershock and then repurposed into Stink Eye, which has gone through two Rebel Games events and and the dude perfect shoot. So, for a robot that was essentially made as more of a joke, it had a pretty long, successful life. And now I'll probably take you to the dump. 
So here's poor Stink Eye after it's been disassembled. Um, there are a few pieces I can reuse, but very few. It's, it's, had, a, it's had a rough life. Um, and the, the frame itself is bent and twisted enough. At this point in time, I don't see any sense in trying to resurrect it. So I think it's, it's probably done. Um, I will have some interesting parts off of it from the, from the video shoot, which I'll probably go ahead and put up on eBay. So if you're interested in those things, you know, please have a look. Um, and, uh, you know, considering what I put into it, it actually had a pretty interesting, uh, interesting career. So, uh, you know, stink eyes, stink eye is no more, at least with this chassis. I like that weapon disc enough. I could see doing it again sometime in the future and actually building a serious robot around that weapon because it, uh, it was kind of interesting. So, uh, anyway, there it is. You know, Stink Eye is done. <laughs>